certainly loves bringing his work wherever he travels. Well, running an academy and a military makes him a busy man. But yes, those are a bit of an eyesore. Come in. Ozpin. Hello, General. Please, drop the formalities. <laughs> it's been too long. And Glinda, it has certainly been too long since we last met. Oh, James. I'll be outside. Well, she hasn't changed a bit. So, what in the world has brought you all the way down from Atlas? Headmasters don't typically travel with their students for the Vital Festival? Well, you know how much I love Vale this time of year. Besides, with you hosting, I thought this might be a good opportunity for us to catch up. I can certainly appreciate quality time between friends. However, a small fleet outside my window has me somewhat concerned. Well, concern is what brought them here. I understand travel between kingdoms has become increasingly difficult. Oz, you and I both know why I brought those men. <sighs> We are in a time of peace. Shows of power like this are just going to give off the wrong impression. But if what Crow said is true, then... If what Crow said is true, then we will handle it tactfully. It's the Vital Festival, a time to celebrate unity and peace. So I suggest you not scare people by transporting hundreds of soldiers halfway across the continent. I'm just being cautious. As am I, which is why we will continue to train the best huntsmen and huntresses we can. Believe me, I am. But ask yourself this. Do you honestly believe your children can win a war? I hope they never have to. Why not let us know you were okay? I was asked not to talk to you. Or Weiss, or Blake. Or Yang? Anybody, really. Was your dad that upset? No, it wasn't my father. The AK-130 has been the standard security model of Remnant for several years. And they have done a fine job. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? But the Kingdom of Atlas is a kingdom of innovation. And fine? Well, that's just not good enough, is it? Presenting? The Elysian Knight. Two hundred. Smarter, sleeker, and admittedly, a little less scary. These models will become active later this year, but they won't be alone. Now, the Atlesian military has always supported the idea of removing men from the dangers of the battlefield. However, there are still many situations that undoubtedly require a human touch. Ruby. So. Our kingdom's greatest minds, in cooperation with the Schneedust Company, are proud to introduce the Elysian Paladin. <laughs> now, we couldn't have him here for you today, but these mechanized battleships will be seen defending the borders of our kingdom within the year. Ruby, maybe we should go somewhere else. Ospin, they were here! We are very much aware of that. Thank you, James. Fantastic. You're aware. Now, are we going to do something about it, or should we just stay the course and continue to ignore what's right in front of us? Come in. Sorry it took so long. Someone accidentally hit all the buttons on the elevator on the way up here. It wasn't me. Thank you for coming, Ruby. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. I'd feel better if my bad guy catching record wasn't 0 for 3. <laughs> okay, so that's the tone we're going for. Got it. Ruby, I feel it's appropriate to let you know that I think what you did last night is exactly what being a huntress is all about. You recognized a threat, you took action, and you did the very best you could. Thank you, sir. Now, the general here has already informed us of the events that transpired last night. But now that you've rested, we were wondering if you had anything to add. Was anyone else with her? 
Did she look familiar to you at all? I... I don't know. She was wearing a mask, and she never said anything to me. But I know she fought with glass. I don't think that was her semblance, though. Her clothing lit up whenever she attacked. Save for the glass, that sounds like the woman I fought the night we met Ruby. Embedding dust into clothing is an age-old technique. It could have been anyone. Wait. You think this girl's connected to Torchwick and the White Fang? It's possible. But we still lack the required evidence to link the two together. Actually, I... I think I remember her saying something about a hideout or something in the southeast, just outside the kingdom. Interesting. I thought you said the intruder never- Thank you for your cooperation, Ruby. Why don't you go and spend some time with your team? You have a big day ahead of you. Anytime. And Ms. Rose, please try and be discreet about this matter. Yes, sir. Uh, well, um... <laughs> well, there we have it. We send as many troops as we can to the southeast. Find out exactly what's going on and eradicate any forces that stand in our way. Why must your answer to everything involve a triumphant display of military bravado? You treat every situation like it's a contest of measuring... Glinda. Well, he does. She's right. As much as I, too, would love to end this situation once and for all, we must remember that this may go beyond Vale, beyond Beacon. And if this truly is part of some master plan for which we know not the final move, we mustn't be so bold, nor can we risk the spread of panic. I have served you faithfully for years. But if you mean to tell me that your plan is to merely hold the defenses and wait- It is not. You're a general, James. So tell me, when you prepare to go to war, which do you send in first? The flag bearer or the scouts? Trouble sleeping? Arm was acting up. Of course. So logically, you got out of bed, dressed yourself completely, and decided to gaze menacingly out into the distance. What's wrong? I've trusted him for years. We both have. I just... I can't help but feel like he's keeping us in the dark. Don't be ridiculous. You know very well that we are not the ones in the dark. <laughs> that makes it worse. I refuse to believe that a man I've trusted for so long would act so passively. You're a good person, James. You've always done what you think is best for the people. Even against strong protest, it's admirable. But it's high time you stopped talking about trust and started showing it. Ospin has experience that the rest of us lack. And I think that's something worth remembering. You've left us with no choice. The Vital Festival Tournament cannot be broadcast, let alone held, if we are unable to ensure the safety of the citizens. <clears throat> Therefore, we have reached out to the Atlas Council and together have decided that the best option is to appoint General Ironwood as head of security for the event. Thank you, Councilman. Our kingdom is happy to lend as many troops as it takes to ensure that this event runs as smoothly and safely as possible. And we thank you, General. Will that be all? For now. But after this festival comes to a close, we are going to have a serious discussion regarding your position at Beacon Academy. General Ironwood's reports of these last few weeks have left us somewhat concerned. I'm sure you understand. This is the right move, Ospin. I promise. I will keep our people safe. You have to trust me. brought this on yourself.
leave us. I've been informed that so far you've refused to cooperate with the authorities. I know this might be hard to believe, General, but uh, I'm not the biggest fan of local law enforcement. How about the world's strongest military power? Hmm, first impressions? Not great. I'm going to give you one chance. Who's really behind all of this? Isn't it obvious? You're looking at him. <laughs> Very well, then. What's the matter, General? I thought you wanted to talk. The Council has given me custody over you for as long as I see fit. So you can make yourself comfortable. I can assure you we'll have plenty of time to talk. Go on. Your little infiltrator isn't just another pawn. They're the one responsible for Autumn's condition. What? Despite what the world thinks, we're not just teachers or generals or headmasters. The people in this room, the leaders of the other two academies, we're the ones that keep the world safe from the evils no one even knows about. It's why we meet behind closed doors, why we work in the shadows. So you tell me, James, when you brought your army to Vale, did you think you were being discreet or did you just not give a damn? Discreet wasn't working. I'm here because this is what was necessary. You're here because Ozpin wanted you here. He made you a part of this inner circle and opened your eyes to the real fight that's in front of us. And I am grateful. Oh, well, you've got a real funny way of showing it. The people of Vale needed someone to protect them. Someone who would act. When they look to the sky and see my fleet, they feel safe. And our enemies will feel our strength. <laughs> You, you think they're scared of your little ships? I've been out there and I've seen the things she's made, and let me tell you, they are fear. And fear will bring the Grim. A guardian is a symbol of comfort, but an army is a symbol of conflict. There's an energy in the air now, a question in the back of everyone's minds. If this is the size of our defenses, what is it we're expecting to fight? So then, what would you suggest we do? I suggest we find our guardian. I'm sorry, but you've left us with no choice. But he attacked me! Video footage and millions of viewers say otherwise. But Yang would never do that. Yeah. You all seem like good students. And the staff here at Beacon are fully aware that you would never lash out the way you did under normal circumstances. What I believe and hope this to be is nothing more than the result of stress and adrenaline. When you're out on the battlefield, your judgment can become clouded in an instant. Sometimes you see things that simply aren't there, even after the fight has passed. That's enough! The sad truth is, whether it was an accident or an assault, it doesn't matter. The world saw you attack an innocent student. They've already drawn their own conclusions, and it's my job to inform you that you're disqualified. This is not a tragedy. This was not an accident. This is what happens when you hand over your trust, your safety, your children, to men who claim to be our guardians, but are, in reality, nothing more than men. Our Academy's headmasters wield more power than most armies, and one was audacious enough to control both they cling to this power in the name of peace. And yet, what do we have here? One nation's attempt at a synthetic army, mercilessly torn apart by another star pupil. 
What need would Atlas have for a soldier disguised as an innocent little girl? I don't think the Grimm can tell the difference. And what, I ask you, is Osborn teaching his students? First a dismemberment, now this? Huntsmen and huntresses should carry themselves with honor and mercy. Yet I have witnessed neither. Perhaps Ospin felt as though defeating Atlas in the tournament would help people forget his colossal failure to protect Vale when the Grimm invaded its streets. Or perhaps this was his message to the tyrannical dictator that has occupied an unsuspecting kingdom with armed forces. Honestly, I haven't the slightest clue as to who is right and who is wrong. But I know that the existence of peace is fragile. And the leaders of our kingdoms conduct their business with iron gloves. Ladies and gentlemen, please, there is no need for panic. Nevermore! How did he get past the kingdom's defenses? It wasn't alone. Us. Get to the city, but now! Austin, the girl, I, I can explain. You brought your army to my kingdom, James. Use it. Damn it! This is blue four. Blues two and three fall into defensive position. Roger! Blue three in position. Blue two, what's your status? Blue two, come in! Someone answer me, damn it! It's about time. Where is it? Let's go! crawling all over the city. The White Fang has invaded Beacon, and to make matters worse, some vagabond has seized one of my ships. Until we regain command, the skies are out of our control. So I'm... going to take it back. What should we do? You have two choices. Defend your kingdom and your school, or save yourselves. No one will fault you if you leave. Let's move out!
Come on. We can take a ship to Beacon. No, this one. This one's gonna be fun. This area is secure. We need to... Crow, this isn't my doing. You idiot. I know you didn't do this. So what now, General? Someone's done the impossible and gained control of my machines. And that enormous grin seems to be fixated on the school. Glinda, form over the local huntsman and establish a safe zone here in Vale. We need to evacuate Beacon. Crow, I'm leaving that to you and my men. I still need to get to my ship. much of a walk. My company, I'm talking about the good of Atlas, our entire kingdom. That is a load of garbage and you know it. I beg your pardon. Shock, will you please just hear me out? You are a trusted friend and ally to this family, James. But what you're suggesting is absurd. You are blowing it out of proportion. The council will never agree to it. You forget. I hold two seats on the council. Your dust embargo has already cost me millions. I can promise you I have not forgotten. So this is about you. Mishni, my apologies. I should have been gone by now. It, it's okay. We'll continue this at another time. Indeed. Klein can show you out. <laughs> Don't worry, I know the way. Until next time, Jock. Please know, you'll always have a home at Atlas Academy, Mishni. We'll be back in session before you know it. Did you forget your manners while you were away? No, Father. I'm sorry. Can you believe there are still people in the world that blame Atlas for what happened to Beacon? To Vale? Well, they weren't there. So wonder Ironwood wasn't stripped of his rank. I suppose the Council trusts him, for better or worse. I trust him. Thanks to him, Atlas is forbidden from exporting dust to other kingdoms. A precautionary measure, as he puts it, until we're certain no one is going to declare war. It's for me? For you and you only.
brand new state-of-the-art Atlas tech. You know, I thought I was going to have to pull some strings, call in a few favors, but you earned this one all on your own, kiddo. Huh? Before I could even talk to him, General Ironwood already had one of his top scientists working on this. For you. He wanted me to tell you that you fought admirably. You should be proud of yourself. I said, let go! She's the only one making sense around here. Thanks for the party, Shock. You're talking to me about controls? Do you even hear what you're saying? I am basing everything on my reports from your daughter. A daughter you stole! But oh, we are not getting into that again. Oh, yes. We have far more pressing matters to discuss, starting with your apparent lunacy. Shock! Winter is one of my best. If she's telling me there's a threat in Mistral, then I'm not going to take that news lightly. She's been there for weeks. People are mobilizing. Sudden spikes in weapons and dust trade. Someone is about to make a play, and I do not trust Leo to stop them. You've never trusted anyone other than yourself. And for good reason! If Oz had just listened to me from the start... You need to get a grip. That's exactly what I'm doing. Our people need protection. By this time next week, the Kingdom of Atlas will be officially closing its borders. No one in, no one out, without the Council's permission. You mean without your permission? And if that becomes the case, I would think you'd want to be on my good side. What do you mean? We may have dealt with the Grim, but the Mistral Council still at odds with representatives from Atlas. First, it was the dust embargo. Now it's the closing of borders. I'm not sure what happened to James in Vale. But it seems to have only worsened some of his more unfortunate tendencies. Wow. You know, you make the trip up to Atlas over and over, but you never get used to that view. Oh, come on! Place? What is it? set up like they're expecting an attack. Manta 5-1, welcome home. help us we came to atlas hoping to talk with general ironwood but um what exactly has been happening here <coughs> uh, the fall of beacon took a toll on all of us james was no different i couldn't tell you exactly what it was he saw there 
but it changed him. He's... He's scared. Paranoid would be the more appropriate term. You have to understand, it wasn't just the Grimm. Someone completely dismantled Atlas Security Code, made it their plaything, and made us look like traitors to some and buffoons to everyone else. Whoever managed to do that is either a genius or one of our own. I fear the answer may be both, and so does the general. Winter. <gasps> Anyone want to give us a hand with these? You have ten seconds to take those off before I start hurting you. Huh? Oh, you so sorry. Please let us help you. Forgive us. Please, come in. It is so good to see all of you. Our reception didn't really convey that. I sincerely regret how you were treated by my team. When a rogue airship entered our airspace, it raised some red flags. We assumed the ship was stolen. Stolen? <laughs> okay, yeah, it was stolen. You stole an Atlas airship? Oh, is it about the relics? Or perhaps the Winter Maiden? You told them? <laughs> Did you really think you were the only one who got to work on a new plan after Beacon? With Ozpin gone, I needed my own team of people I could trust. So yes, <laughs> I told them. The Aesops too. Which is why I'm so glad you're here. With this. Until now, I believed it was impossible to truly turn the tide against Salem. Oz has pushed her back, has kept victory out of her claws, but she will keep returning, stronger and stronger. Unless we destroy her. Recalling my military, the embargo, I probably don't seem the most trustworthy right now. Then why continue it? The people of Mantle are hurting! I needed to ensure Salem couldn't infiltrate Atlas. And I wanted my military here, protecting my people. But it's not protecting them. It's making everyone hate you. It's a price I'm willing to pay. Just as you all have been entrusted with the knowledge of Salem's existence, I need you all to trust me. I have a plan. Ozpin believed the best way to fight Salem was to do so in secret. Whether that was the right choice or not, isn't for me to say. But we find ourselves in a position of needing, well, a new approach. And what do you suggest? That's... Amity Coliseum, where the Vital Festival is held? Indeed. When Beacon fell and everyone on Remnant lost contact with one another, I knew our current system was outdated. Amity was built to bring the nations together, and it will serve that purpose once again. Isn't it great? We're not going to just replace Beacon Tower. Building a new tower on top of Amity Coliseum will re-establish global communications. By launching the tower high into the atmosphere, our scientists believe we can create a sort of satellite out of reach of the Grimm, and capable of maintaining global communications even if we were to lose another tower. That is great. James, you don't need the entire military for this. I will for the next part, where I finally tell the people about Salem. So that's why you withdrew your troops. To handle the panic that will break out in Atlas. Yes, panic is inevitable. And panic brings grim. But I believe we are ready. Once Atlas has come to grips with the fight ahead, 
I'll use Amity Tower to spread the message to all of Remnant. But everything will fall apart. Grim will be everywhere. You're right. But Atlas is willing and prepared to assist. Trying to hide the truth from the world will eventually kill us all. Actually, Oz isn't completely gone. Uh, Oscar here is... is the next Ozpin. Oz? I'm so glad you're here. I didn't think you... Not quite. He's kind of, um, gone at the moment. That's not normal. How did he... We don't know. We were in a train crash, and ever since, well, uh, suddenly Oz wasn't there anymore. <sighs> it's the worst news yet. Did you learn anything from him about the relics before... He told us the lamp can answer three questions. But all the questions were used up already. Right, right. Ospin told us that too, once upon a time. At least we have you, Oscar. You're safe here in Atlas. Maybe together we can figure out how to bring Ospin back. Thank you, sir. I mean, uh, General. Uh, Ironwood? You're giving it back to me? After what happened with the Aesops, I don't want you to think I'm keeping anything from you, especially something as important as this. For the time being, I think it's safest with the people who brought it here. Um, thank you. We must work together if we are to fight Salem and win. Now. If you're all on board. Tell us how we can help. Good. Because getting the Amity Tower ready to launch won't be easy. Crow. Hmm? I meant it when I said it was good to see you again. Uh, yeah. You too. Can I get the team leaders over here? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. You too, Crow. I need you on the ground, but be subtle. If people see too many huntsmen milling around, they'll get nervous. And Clover, don't take Murrow. <laughs> New problems in Mantle? More of the same, unfortunately. Someone in Mantle is taking up public leaders who speak out against Atlas. Specifically, people who speak out against me. It didn't look like a pattern at first, but this is the third murder of its kind in the last week. Wait a minute. That's the guy that rode with us after we were arrested. He died? Your opposition in Mantle dropping dead isn't exactly a good look for you, huh? I'm not really worried about my public image, but it is causing unrest. I think someone's trying to frame me, and by extension, Atlas. And it's working. Well, if it wasn't for the embargo making everybody so mad, people probably wouldn't be so quick to blame you for everything else. <clears throat> Sir. No, no, you're right. Things in Mantle have been hard to manage lately. I'm not blind to its issues. In fact, that's what I want to talk to you about. With the launch of this mobile communications tower and tensions down in Mantle, I think there's a lot of good your teams can do here. What? Already? Here? No, it's fine. Let him land. I'll deal with him myself. More Mantle problems? No. This one's an Atlas problem.
So let me get this straight, James. In addition to this nonsensical embargo of yours crippling my business, you've also decided you have the authority to commandeer private property. When the council hears about this, you will never- Actually, I've already informed them. As this is now the site of a classified military operation, it didn't even require a vote. Didn't require a vote? You might want to brush up on council law before you lose this upcoming election, John. Now, I've allowed you to land here once as a courtesy. The next time, it won't be a friendly reception. Lately, you seem to forget who your friends really are. I'm going to get that council seat, James, and maybe then you'll... You. You roped my missing daughter into these schemes of yours, too? How long has she been back in Atlas? Did Winter know about this? It was this? my decision to come here. Just like it was my decision to leave. Or have you forgotten all about that? If you think I'm one to forget anything, girl, then you've misjudged the man your father is. Believe me. I know exactly the kind of man you are. How dare you speak to me that way! I have half a mind to- Half a mind to what, Jacques? are being granted your Huntsman licenses. Today. I know this is coming a little ahead of schedule, but hmm. brothers know you deserve it. I only regret that I couldn't do something a little more ceremonious for the occasion. I, we, were honored, General Ironwood, but you really don't have Please. to do Please, with the threat of Salem still out there and tensions rising in our kingdom, I certainly could use more trustworthy fighters by my side. I should be so lucky to have all of you. It's okay. It's a big moment. And what better way than to celebrate here? When this tower is ready and communications are back up and running, we'll tell the world about Salem and face down whatever comes at us after that. Together. <sighs> That's just about all the pomp I have in me. If you'll excuse me, I have to get back to running this operation. Um, well then, enjoy the cake. Your speech outros are improving, sir. I wasn't kidding. You're really giving this your all. Well, we have to with the way things are going. They're not going well, are they? Better Robin than Jock <laughs> Shani. Uh, I suppose so. Either way, this election doesn't bode well for our stability. It could be a chance to work with Robin and get Mantle on your side. The likelihood of that working. She's right. You have to do something about Mantle. If you could get Robin to trust you. I bet if you opened up to her, she'd understand that you're being framed. <sighs> Perhaps. But it will only work if she's open too. And I take it you're here for new mission assignments. You could say that. The General and I want you to take the rest of the day to recuperate. You're giving us... A night off? Ordering it. After tonight's election, we'll be waking up to a very different atlas tomorrow. I need you rested and ready for whatever that may bring. This is the worst case scenario. More people are dead, Penny's been framed, and somehow, Jacques Schnee is sitting on the council. That's the second shipment for Amity that was hit today. It seems election night was the last push Robin needed to go from hometown hero to full-on vigilante. I'm afraid the problem is more complicated than that. It seems Robin has emboldened our suppliers in Mental. They're refusing to sell us provisions until the city is adequately repaired. With Robin redistributing the goods her team has stolen, the Amity Project is completely stalled. But we're so close! There has to be some way we can finish the tower. There is. Declaring martial law. You're not actually considering that, are you? What's more important? Establishing communication to unite the world? Or appeasing a few city blocks? Don't make it sound trivial when you know it isn't! You keep talking about how we just need a little more time, but you're not the one having to struggle! We have all had to make sacrifices for the greater good. Mantle has had to bear a lot of the burden, yes, but... They're bearing all of it! The longer this waiting game goes on, the harder each day gets for people down there. And now you want to send in more soldiers? You can't force people to fall in line. If you do that, you'll just be trading all of these problems for the Grim.
plays General Ironwood. Squeezy mantle this way. That kind of division plays right into Salem's hands. That's why Tyrion is here framing you. Right. The reason we called you here in the first place. You're sure this was the man you saw? Tyrion Callows was accused of murders all across Anima. A homicidal maniac who escaped justice when his prison transport was attacked by Grimm. After that, he was never seen again. Well, he works for Salem, and he's here. If we ever had any doubts Atlas was Salem's next target, I think those are officially out the window. But now we have a suspect. We can tell the people! That a long-lost serial killer is loose in mantle and the military has no idea where he is. Might make things worse before they get better. I am so sick of secrets! If we just told everyone about Amity, about Salem! We can't! If we talk about Amity now, we were Salem's forces, who we know are here, working to sabotage it. If we tell them about Salem now, we risk falling to the Grim before we can reunite Remnant. We have to finish the tower. I want Robin Hill in custody. We can offer her a deal if she gets Mantle to cooperate. We'll figure it out. Anyone not assisting with Robin needs to focus on Tyrion. I want to know who he's working with, where he's hiding, what he's planning, and how exactly that video of Penny got all over my kingdom. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. After all, it was your idea to use the staff to lift Atlas off the ground. I thought gravity dust kept Atlas afloat. Yeah, that's the public story. But with the staff, we have a constant, seemingly limitless energy source. Oswin speculated it could take us as high as we wanted. To tell you the truth, that served as the inspiration for the Amity Project. Get a communication tower up in the sky, higher than the Grim can survive, so we never lose contact with each other again. But you're not using the staff to raise Amity. The staff can only be used for one purpose at a time. We're going to have to do Amity the old-fashioned way, dust and all. That feels strange. Knowing a part of me helps come up with all this. You'll get used to it, I'm sure. Eventually, you don't even know who is who anymore. Right. We didn't know we see eye to eye. But I wish I could ask Ospin what he thought of all this. Well, I can tell you what I think. The path you're heading down, where you're the only one with the answers, where you do the thing you think is right no matter the cost, it's not going to take you anywhere good. We have to stop Salem. Nothing matters more. Some things matter more, I think. Keeping our humanity. It's what makes us different from her. Sometimes I worry that's her greatest advantage. Without humanity, does she still feel fear? Does she ever hesitate? When Salem hit Beacon, even with all my ships, all of my soldiers, I was no match for her. I've never felt so helpless. The way she told me she was there. It's okay to be afraid. You just can't let that fear control you. I am not going to end up like Lionheart. Do you believe in me? I do believe in you. But not only you. I think the best thing you could do is sit down and talk with the people you're most afraid to. Now you are starting to sound like him. The fact of the matter is, you've operated with a fair amount of autonomy for the past few years, James. But what we need now is for you to work with us. Sir, I have- It's obvious that no kingdom intends to declare war on Atlas. We had no involvement in the incident at Haven. We have proof our drones weren't acting on orders at Beacon. At this point, the closure of Atlas borders is only serving to hurt our relations with the rest of the world. I- The rest of the world? It's hurting us. The people of Atlas are suffering, and they want to know why. 
Quite right, Miss Hill. And I'm afraid there's more than just your choices that have brought harm to our citizens as of late. Have your forces found any additional evidence as to who is slaughtering innocent civilians down in Mantle? That is an ongoing investigation, the details of which are classified, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the ever-growing list of classified information you seem to be keeping. I asked our fellow councilmen here to shed some light on your Amity Coliseum project, and as it turns out, they know about as much as I do. Even you don't know? The Amity Project will help with all of the issues you presented. But you have to understand that discretion is a top priority at this time. Are you saying you don't trust us? You can't just buy trust like everything else. You have to earn it! I couldn't have said it better myself. General, if I may be blunt, you have spent what little trust this council had left in you. The hacker who turned Atlas drones against us was never captured. Whoever's been murdering your critics is still at large. How are we supposed to give you our trust when you've given us nothing as of late? That's not what- Winter. That's enough. He's using Jacques' credentials. We can follow that activity on the network if he's found his way into the Amity system. No, the secret is safe, for now. But if he learns about Amity, she learns about Amity. Can you block his access? It's too late. He's already starting to lock us out. Can we trace him somehow? Find out where he's hiding? He's going to be mobile. We need his access point. We need to get him out in the open. Okay, so let me get this straight. Yep, still here, everyone. How do a disgraced scientist and disappeared serial killer find each other, General? Why would they target you? And why are you working so hard to hide the Amity Communications Tower from them? You know? I used to think you were hiding something to protect yourself. But I can tell there's something much bigger going on here. Now I think it's to protect something else. Us. Atlas, maybe even all of Remnant. And you're afraid of what might happen if you tell the truth. General, the Grim are all over Mantle. The Air Fleet's doing everything they can, but they can't easily target Grimm in the city without risking casualties. This... This is what I was afraid would happen. Sir, we need ground support now. What we need is to start evacuating Mantle. If it's completely overrun, it's not going to be safe anywhere. Use the fleet if to If I move the fleet, then Atlas is vulnerable! I... I tried to keep the kingdom safe, and now we're losing everything. General, earlier you asked for my advice. I wanted Ozpin's advice. And his advice probably would have been to keep your secrets. When we first got here, you already knew that wasn't the right course. You had a new plan. It's time to give up on that plan. It's all falling apart. The panic you were worried about, it's already happening. The secrets you're keeping, they're about to be in the open anyway. It's time. Tell the truth. You're not alone. We can do this together. <laughs> Thank you. Oscar, I think it's time you get back to the Academy. I think you're right. Miss Hill, Councilman Sleet, Councilwoman Camilla, there are some things you need to know about. Let's figure out how we can help Mantle. Together. We should tell Ironwood. Ironwood. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, uh, I guess we're on the same page, huh? Guess so. He's finally choosing the truth over fear. We should do the same. I'll tell him. I'm the one who chose to keep it from him in the first place. Ruby! Transport's leaving! I think you're needed elsewhere. You're sure? Yeah, I've got it. She... can't be killed. Jin told you this. She showed us when we asked what Oz was hiding. Why? Why would Oz keep this from us? From the people who trusted him? He was worried you would lose hope. 
We're sorry we kept it from you too. We didn't know who to trust. I figured you should know before you make any sacrifices. Sir? What are you gonna do? I... All we can do for the moment is what we can to save Mantle. That's what's in front of us. He'd be proud of you. You're bringing the hope that Atlas was meant to inspire. A city in the sky is held to a higher standard. You say that like you were there. Our transports are here. We should move. Hmm. Oscar. No more surprises, all right. I'm not sure I could take it. You and me both. Take us to Atlas! We won't survive down here! Why isn't Ironwood doing anything? Take us to Atlas! Please, everyone! We're doing our best! We will get you to safety and just give us a little more time! Atlas. Mantle. I know you're scared. I'm here with General Ironwood, and we have a message for you. What he has to say may sound unbelievable, but it is all true. An ancient and terrible evil lies outside of our kingdom. It was responsible for the destruction of Beacon, the attack on Haven, and for the recent attacks on Mantle. This powerful force goes by the name of Salem. He's doing it. Salem seeks only to divide us, to turn us against each other. If she can incite hatred in us, then we will lure in the Grim and destroy ourselves. Salem herself does not work alone. Her minions have invaded our very city. Arthur Watts and Tyrion Kalos. These men are the ones responsible for the recent murders in Mantle and for sabotaging the heating grid. But we cannot let ourselves give in to fear and panic. That is what she wants. Instead, we must unite and fight back together. Every single one of us. All right, think you'll buy a line. Place a hand on the shoulder in front of you. This will certainly do the trick. Although I wouldn't exactly call it finished. Arthur Watts. Welcome. It wasn't finished. It was bait. <laughs> you know, James, this place has always been a technological marvel. Truly. Even before you went and uh, did all this. The different types of dust, the biome system, and of course, everything that goes into controlling them. Cliche, James. I won't be going down without a fight.
Joseph. Genius, James. You just stood atop it and called yourself a giant. I gave you everything you could have wanted. You chose that fat imbecile over me. Suppose in this instance, my brains and your brawn are evenly matched. You're smart, but you're not the only one who can count. a little too close for my liking, James. Rebuilding those rings is going to be such a pain. Now, if you'll excuse me. I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I mean, unless you're hoping to add more metal to that body of yours. All right, now, where? What? I will sacrifice whatever it takes to stop her. Tyrion Kalos in custody. General Ironwood? We have made a critical error. The Black Queen was the symbol Salem showed us before we lost everything. Her way of telling us she was inside. That it was too late. We stopped Watts. We stopped Kalos, but someone was here. They put this in my office to tell me that it... What if Mantle was just a distraction? What if it was just to draw us away from the Academy to... to... Sir, it's going to be okay. We've got Mantle on our side now, and... How do we know that wasn't part of their plan? How do we know they didn't want us to bring people into Atlas by the thousands? In trying to save everyone, we left ourselves most vulnerable. Salem has been one step ahead of us this entire time! It's... glass. Black glass. This was Cinder. She's alive? And she's here? 
If Cinder's here, then for all we know, Hazel's here too. Sir, this isn't over yet. We're with you. Are you with me? Sir? How did Robin know about the Global Communications Project? Huh? We told her. The night of the ambush. You did what? We were trying to help. By going behind our backs? Wait. Does that mean you let her escape? Robin is on our side. She always has been. We didn't know that for sure. None of this matters right now. Loyalty always matters! General Ironwood. The brave huntsmen and huntresses bested Arthur Wall. Congratulations. We stopped Tyrion too. And we'll stop Cinder and anyone else you try to send here. Dear girl, their goal was never victory. It was merely to set the stage. For what? For me. Time isn't on your side, James. It's always been on mine. The people of Atlas have suffered enough. Surrender the staff and the lamp to me, and they needn't suffer any further. That's... not going to happen. Simply accept the futility of your situation. And this can all be over. We'd be alerted if any forces had approached the kingdom. We have long-range proximity alarms all along the coast and- They're offline. With all of the chaos we didn't notice. Watts must have shut them down! Or they've already been destroyed. said in your speech that Amity Tower was ready to launch. Was that true? No. You just said that. To lure out Watts. General Ironwood? I've sent your sister to claim the power of the Winter Maiden. <gasps> what? When I realized we'd been compromised, I knew we couldn't wait any longer. The staff and the lamp have to be locked away. I thought... you said we could keep it. Well, that was before you lied to me about the lamp. Before you lied to us about Robin, before Salem was right on our doorstep. Before Mantle was nearly destroyed, and myself and my army were left exhausted! The timeline has changed, and so we must change accordingly. What are our orders, sir? We are going to take our plan for Amity Tower and apply it to the city of Atlas. What? It was Oz's plan in a former life, but he didn't take it far enough. If we harness the power of the staff and raise ourselves high into the atmosphere, the city's artificial climate will keep citizens and food supplies unharmed always out of reach of whatever Salem may try to send our way. But we're nowhere near finished evacuating everyone. You'd be leaving Mantle to die. Yes, I would. We can't allow Salem to capture the relics. This is our best chance at getting the staff, the lamp, and the maiden as far away from her as possible. But... We have an opportunity to reunite the world. If we launch the tower, we can all work together again. We could even call for help. 
if we can hold out long enough... Sometimes doing the right thing means making tough decisions. You're right. And I think the right thing to do would be to stand our ground. Me too. Me too. Me too. We ran ourselves ragged trying to save Mantle tonight. We try that again against an even larger force. But you're huntsmen and huntresses. You can't just back down from a fight. You can't focus on one single fight while trying to win a war. What's the council going to say? Nothing. Once I declare martial law. No. Oh, what about Robin? Who exactly are you loyal to? We're loyal to the people counting on us to save them. We are saving who we can. And you're standing in our way. It's John. We've got a serious problem. I was declaring martial law and abandoning Mantle. Salem is coming and he's going to use the staff to move Atlas. If we don't stop him, Mantle's going to be just... Sorry it's come to this, but until Atlas and the relics are safe, you are all under arrest. We won't just let you take us. I know. We cannot let him do this! Miss Hill? I'm sure the General understands the enormity of his... Clover? Crow, you should know that I've been asked to bring you in. <laughs> a free ride and a show. There's also an alert out for Team Ruby's arrest. What? Has James lost his mind? He's trying to stop anybody who might get in the way of this inhumane plan. Looks like he underestimated me. Again. Winter, thank you. I know that must have been difficult. I... I'm so sorry. And... whom do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Still just me. It was smart of you not to bring the lamp down here. I wouldn't trust me either, right now. Trust is what I'm hoping to fix. I know we can still figure this out. All of it. Together. Please. Do you intend to fight me? No. That's exactly what she wants. I guess it's because of us, but... holding it helps calm me down. I'm afraid. You still think I'm afraid? We all are. It's what we do in our fear that reveals- That's easy for you to say! You can label me whatever you'd like. But the fact of the matter is, I was right! The minute I softened, let my guard down, that's when Salem had her opening. If you abandon Mantle, you abandon our best chance of reuniting the world. You abandon Remnant, leaving millions to fend for themselves so a few can survive. What kind All of- All excellent philosophical points that won't matter if Salem wins. Listen to me! No, you listen. I am done 
letting others' inability to see the big picture get in the way of doing what's right. Robin, the council, this kingdom, even you. Then you're as dangerous as she is, James. James, to my friends call me. To you, it's General.